right, folks, so um, this is what I've come up with. So I mounted all the electronics in a box. Um, you can see it here. It's turned on. You can see the timer going on is on there. I have an on-off switch here. Shut power down to it. So <clears throat> electronics, all the wiring is in a box. It's weather type box. It's just um, like in a Plano box. So I have the wires running out the side, waterproof connectors. Okay, um, these are temporary. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually stay with these wires um, or go to something else. But anyway, they're 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 fine for now. Um, so one of them runs to one set of wires runs to a switch, and I got a label all the side. Uh, one goes to a switch here. It's that contact switch I told you about. That's on on a box, okay, that I built. Um, and the other the other set of wires goes to an actuator here. It's a solenoid, right? Um, on the side, on the other side, I have a power switch so I can shut the power down from the battery so I don't drain the battery. You shut that down. And I also have a reset which will reset my timer for me. So I can reset the timer. So for instance, if I open this stub I open the box here and I look at the timer, it starts to count down. The box closes, the timer stops. If I just press the red button, I can reset it. Okay. So I can connect any kind of solenoid I want here to create an action. So that will be part four.